definitely want to try it out with the goggles and a joystick. It seems more like piloting. I did not buy this new. It was not sent to me by the company. It's actually a friend of mine. Uh, if you go to YouTube and check out Lens Capture, link in the description below, you will see uh, their videos. They do really cool, I mean, really cool videos. 10 bit, the full work. It's landed in my hands, and here we go. Now, I don't read instructions. It came with instructions. I didn't check for updates. I didn't do anything. I just literally opened the box and tried to piece it together. I just, I don't like to read, okay? So, the clippy thing clips on here. That holds your phone. Uh, off the bat, I'll say this is kind of plasticky and feels like it's going to break easily when clipping it on and off, although it has not break yet, so that's a good thing. Your phone goes in the holder over here. You can turn your phone landscape or portrait. It's it's up to you. Um, the phone can go on any side. There you go. Locks it into place. So you can use the joystick with your right hand or your left hand, whatever is convenient. It comes with a USB cable, FD aviator in the Android uh, store and downloaded the app. And the uh, you turn on your Bluetooth on your phone and you sync it to the joystick. And this connects to the controller. You just plug it into your Mavic controller at the bottom or your Phantom wherever and that's it. You don't need another phone attached here. If you're used to flying with your phone, then this should be fine. It's a great alternative for you. But if you're used to flying with a Crystal Sky, just be aware it doesn't work with a Crystal Sky. Maybe there's a future update, who knows, that'll fix that. But for now, it doesn't. So let's dump this. So I unclip this. Again, this clip is a pain in the ass. And I'm leaving the phone out. I'm leaving the cable, everything. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to go into the DJI app. Instead, I'm going to go into the FQ Aviator app. It's right here. Um, this is a regular connection, just like you're going to fly regularly with your drone and your phone. I have the joysticks. It turns on just like a DJI stuff. Tap and hold to turn on. I'll try and connect this to this via Bluetooth. And then connect this to the drone and see if I can fly. I'm going to hit the F Aviator on my Bluetooth. There we go, I'm currently connected. I've opened up the FQ Aviator app. As you can see, all of these are connected except the joystick. So now all I need to do is connect the joystick. I click to connect. Um, I select the aviator over here, that's this one. It's initializing. Bam, it's connected and shows you even the battery life on the joystick. Okay, you hit go fly now, everything is connected. So you're pretty much ready to go. You can see the percentage of your joystick. With the Bluetooth, is 89%. Your drone battery life looks very much very similar to the DJI Go app. All right, I just paired the goggles to the Mavic 2 wirelessly, and uh, I have video. I also have video here, which is pretty cool. So that's cool. And this you can hang around your neck. You can rest it anywhere close by because all you have to do is click into sports mode, and that takes back control over the drone. Meanwhile. I can wirelessly hold this, keep my controller connected nearby, have complete vision in my goggles. Let's put it on slow speed, put the speed on slow. Here's to like record and, and take photos. Um, over here, I'm not sure what that is. This I know is to control the gimbal looking up and down, pretty cool. Uh, this is the jo regular joystick, go forward, go back, go left, go right. Um, this is to go up, this is to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You can slip your thumb under here and lock it in, but I don't like that, locking it in. You can pull up to go up or press down to go down, either one like this, up and down. But I prefer not, I don't like my thumb locked in, I like my fingers loose. So I'll just press down to go down and press in this trigger to go up and I have left right so let's see how well this thing operates and hit take off and then there you go uh, we can slow it down one speed Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Response gently. It's definitely more sensitive towards obstacles and then every time it sees obstacles it just completely stops. It doesn't take chances at all. I quite frankly think that it responds very well, that it's doing a good job. Now, I'm interested to see whether I can actually get some nice, usable, smooth footage. So, uh, I'm gonna go into goggles. I'm gonna see, well, if this thing is really useful. I think this is great for someone who maybe has one hand on a Mavic. Um, I, don't have my Phantom yet I'll check it back with the Phantom and see how it works but so far I can tell you with the Mavic mm, it's smooth no problems smooth if you have any kind of disability maybe one hand is not as good as the other you can you're not you know able to do like fine motor skills with one hand but the other hand is good I highly recommend this if you own a Mavic highly recommend it it's very easy to fly very intuitive especially if you're used to playing let me just head out to the noise, especially if you're used to playing video games or operating uh, heavy machinery to work with these sticks. This will be a dream come true for you. Again, it definitely takes some time to yaw right compared to yawing left. Left yaw seems to be a little bit faster to me. I don't know why. One thing that would be interesting to see and note is if you can still hand catch with this bad boy right here. Let's try it out. <laughs> a little tricky. Not really recommended, but it's doable. I won't recommend you fly this off of a boat unless you're gonna take control with the sticks manually when it's time to land, then yeah, go right ahead, but that's pretty much it, guys. I love this thing. Uh, you be the judge of the footage. Tell me if it's smooth, cinematic, if it's doable, if it looks like trash. Um, I enjoy flying it, especially with the goggles and no phone attached to it. Just feels light. You feel like you're immersed. You feel like you're doing your own thing. You're just out there and you're just exploring, so to speak. Um, range with the goggles is not too good because this operates with the goggles in 2.4. So if range is your thing, flying with the goggles won't give you that. Um, apart from that, I can pretty much say I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the results and. Uh, I would absolutely recommend you buy this to fly uh, with the Mavic 2 uh, Pro or Zoom. Uh, with the Phantom, that's a different story. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a uh, if you want me to try this with the Phantom. My Phantom should be back tomorrow. Um, I pretty much think once you own a Mavic 2, um, this is a really good way to fly. I'm all up for it. I'm thumbs up for it. I like it. Would love to keep it, but. I gotta return it back to the owner. I'm still giving away six DJI Mavic 2 Pros or Zooms. Head over to my Patreon account, donate a dollar, become a patron, and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones. Guys, let's make this happen. Come on, support me and help me support you.